This next job goes better than my last one. Is everyone finished? There's plenty if anyone wants seconds. No, thank you, my darling Penny. I can feel my belt getting tighter by the second. <laughs> Shame it's not round his neck. I'm telling you to go on a diet. Wine, anyone? Mm, don't mind if I do. Mmm. Full bodied. A bit too oaky for my particular taste. That tastes good to me. Spot on. That probably has something to do with the fact that when you slug it down, it don't touch the sides. True, but I can't see the point in talking about it when you could be drinking it. You obviously have a bit of the philistine in you, Bob. You need to develop your palate and I'm just the man to help. Don't worry, George, you've got plenty. I'll open another bottle. Nice little Merlot would be good if you have one. We were in the Loire Valley last year and we found this lovely little... Have a nice Merlot? Oh, we've got a Merlot. Whether it's a nice Merlot or not, I don't know. That would depend upon the great grape connoisseur in there. Don't start, just open the bottle. Oh, I know. But it's just such an opinionated, pompous prick. Yeah. I know, but he's one of my oldest friends, so just put it up with him. For my sake. <laughs> All right, there you go. Oi! <laughs> Cheesecake. I'm sure I can find a space somewhere. Um, not for me, thanks, Pen. Are you sure? Yeah. Wine, anyone? Lovely. All right. So, where do you come from on the question of burglars, Ray? Sorry? Well, we might as well get the view of an expert. Hang the bastards by the bollocks. Bob! Thank you for that intellectual input, Bob. I mean it. Fuck them. George asked for the opinion of an expert, not a drunken slob. Uh, opinions have been asked for, and I'm giving one. No one forces anyone to break into a house. It's their decision and they have to take the consequences, whatever they may be. The second he crosses the threshold, 
he puts himself in the frame for whatever comes his way. And the law, well, it should back the householder every time. So I take it you're a member of the Tony Martin fan club then, Bob? Bloody right I am, Ray, and so should you be in your job. The fact that I'm a copper does not give me carte blanche to blow away every villain, no matter what they may have done. Yeah, but you would if they were in your house. If they were threatening Penny or Jessica, then you'd shoot. You wouldn't think twice about it in that situation. Well, maybe. Who can actually say unless they're put in that position? But there's only one problem, George. I don't keep a gun in the house. That's another thing. Gun laws in this country are bollocks. Bob. Look, I'm just saying what 95% of the population think. Problem as I see it. If you soften up on gun control, you're gonna have a lot more royal moats and derrick birds roaming around the countryside and then your 95% will be up in arms, pardon the pun, demanding that all guns get confiscated. That fence you're sitting on must be really cutting into your arse. Oh, for God's sake! No, I see where you're coming from, Ray, I really do. Something needs to be done. Personally, I think we should return to the days when the punishment fitted the crime. The courts need stronger sentencing powers. And don't get me started on the death penalty. I certainly agree with executing rapist George. Bastard should be castrated and hung up in the street for all to see. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we're off out now. Oh, have a great night, won't you, Darlius? Good day. Thank you. Try not to drink every bar in town dry tonight. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so funny. <laughs> See you, darling. Love you. Love you too. Bye bye. Mwah. Mwah. See you later. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Doesn't leave them a lot of scope. <laughs> uh, make sure you keep away from strange men. Well, they are keeping away from strange men. They're going out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to be 18 again. Oh. <laughs> oh. For God's sake. Oh, Penny, I'm so sorry. Ray, I, I don't... Oh, don't be silly. It just shows he's had a good night and enjoyed the food. Oh, he's such a bleeding embarrassment. Jesus, sometimes I just... <sighs> no, it's just a man. Oh, that was said with feeling. Uh, more wine, anyone? Unless you've got a nice little malt hidden away somewhere, Raymond. I'm sure I can lay my hands on one.
You obviously had a good night then. Mm. Such a headache. Not surprised. You were drinking for England last night. Mm, thanks for your sympathy. Oh, just looking at them empties is making my stomach turn. I thought they'd never leave. I know I've said it before, but I think I'm definitely going to stop drinking for a while. At least until tonight, eh? Sarcasm does not become you, my darling. <sighs> I think 
get some more sugar. Anything interesting? Oh, usual assortment of junk mail. Circle of asking from the new conservatory. And this. What is it? What this? This is a credit card bill for £372 addressed to Paris Hilton. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, sorry, my mistake. It's addressed to your wonderful daughter. Not that the name on it has any significance whatsoever. As soon as I'm the poor side, I always ends up paying for it. Oh God, here we go again. <laughs> yeah, bloody right, here we go again. Do you know she spent over 200 quid on a pair of shoes? Yeah, I know, she told me. They were in the sale though. I just didn't say they were to die for. Anyway, I don't know what you're complaining about. They're both the same shoe size, and I will definitely be borrowing them. Anyway, it's like getting two pairs for the price of one. <laughs> Only a woman could come out with that logic. You know, don't forget, we have just spent half the national debt on a horse. You know, and I wouldn't mind if the nag had half the chance of winning the Grand National. Morning, darling. Did you have a good night? Oh, God knows. Oh. I can't remember. Oh, dear. I really can't remember. Do you want some breakfast? No, I just need some water. Oh dear. <sighs> oh. God, I really don't feel very well. I was drinking vodka shots like all bloody night. Oh. oh well, never mind eh? You must look good in your new shoes. Yes, I got the odd complimentary comment as it happens. Hmm. Oh. bloody well hope you did. Over 200 pounds a pet. 200 pounds of my money that is. You know, I haven't looked lately but I didn't realise I had cash machines stamped on my forehead. Oh, I do not fucking need this right now. Oh. Daddy. <laughs> Morning all. Morning? I didn't realise we'd open a bed and breakfast. Yeah, sorry. Sort of said you could stay the night. Evidently. Nice shirt, by the way. I'm sure I've seen it somewhere before. Oh, God, yeah, sorry. I found it hanging on the banister. I hope you don't mind. Of course you don't mind. Anyway, it looks far better on you than it ever did on him. Why can't I swear? You two swear all the time. That's not the point. What is the bloody point? <laughs> well, the bloody point is that whilst you're under this roof, you will do as we say, not as we do. Yeah, that's really grown up and mature. Do you remember that piece of advice when I'm your own fucking kid? Oi! Jess was really drunk last night. Well, to be totally honest, she was totally wasted. You don't say. Don't take no notice of old misery guts. Would you like some breakfast? Coffee, bit of toast. Um, just a piece of toast, please, Mrs. Mason. Don't call me that, dear. It's Penny. I'll go and calm Jess down. I think we're going to go out for some lunch or something. And thanks again for letting me stay. <laughs> Don't mention it. Nobody else did. <clears throat> Sometimes I think you're a born old man, just like that character Brad Pitt played. What was his name? Achilles. No, not him. Benjamin Button. That's him. Mm. Just needs understanding. Hmm. It's a good job I love you. You've got your sod. What Jess needs is a rich boyfriend. He then becomes a rich husband. What's that letter? What? That letter, who's it from? Oh, it's, it's nothing. It's just some work stuff. Don't be so boring. Tell me it's a letter from a lover, begging you to run off to the Maldives. <laughs> that chance of that with you two bleeding me dry. Oh, lover boy, but look at what you get for your money. <laughs> I thought you had a headache. And you know what the best cure for a headache is, don't you? Juice. Good health, mate. Cheers. 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 Cheers
I have done. Yeah, go on, get that down. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> good elves, good elves, yeah, gentlemen. Yeah. Everything alright? Yeah, look, don't sweat it. It's fine. Leave it with me. Right. She withdrew the allegation before it went to court then. Too right she did. Bloody hell. A bit of persuasion on my part, you know. You don't want to be standing up in front of everybody in court and counting all that stuff. Yeah. Mum and Dad sitting in the corner having to listen to all that. I tell you what, defence barrister ripping you to shreds, calling you a tart. No chance. Lucky sod. <laughs> Lucky sod. I tell you what, if he fell in a bucket of shit, he'd come up smelling of roses. Lucky my ass. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bastard! Fucking oh, go! Oh, 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 Stay there! Stay there! Calm down! Calm down! Calm down! Come on! You're alright! Calm down! Alright! Come on! Come on! Come on! I fucking told you, haven't I? You do not listen to me. For fuck's sake, she is trouble with a capital fucking T. You need to learn to keep your dick in your pants. Do you understand? Yeah. Thanks, Connor. Pub for lunch. I'll see you later. Hey, you were not driving after that skin fall you had last night. Don't worry, Mr. Mason. Our taxi's just pulled up. I'll look after her, I promise. And that's supposed to fill me with confidence, <laughs> is it? Ciao. Stop coming on to my old man. You're so out of order. I don't know what you mean. Darling, I'm parched. What'd your last slave die of? Not often enough to do. And I'd hate the same thing to happen to you. Love ya. Yeah, I know you do. No, it's way too early. It's never too early. Oh, <laughs> never. <laughs> no, I don't want Christmas. Oh, so what do you want to drink? A very large vodka and tonic, please. Water, lots of ice. Come on, Jess, don't be such a bloody wimp. You're the one that told me you were the party animal, remember? I need the bug. No, it's too late. And, uh, don't drink my vodka. What's the plan for today then? Oh, I've got a stack of work for a meeting tomorrow. So. Brilliant. You do more work from home than you do from the station. That'll be Jess. She'd have forgotten something. If she has, she can come and fetch it herself. Hello, darling. You're a very beautiful 
What do you want? Who is it? Oh, he's with you, is he? Hello, who is this? Oh, come on, Ray. Don't be so cool. Mind. It has been a long time, hasn't it? Who are you? What do you want? Don't play games, Ray. Be nice. Listen, I don't know what your game is, but. I don't know. I don't know. Give me the phone. Give me that fucking phone. The last number that called your line was withheld. Withheld number. You know who that was, don't you? No. I mean, the voice sounded familiar, but it couldn't have been. Do you want to tell me what you're talking about? You know I had that trouble before I met you. Oh, for Christ's sake, how could I forget? A girl that accused me of raping her. You don't think it was her, do you? I thought she moved away. Anyway, why would she do that? Couldn't be her, could it? No, you're right. It couldn't have been her. She's dead. Run that by me again. She's dead. She committed suicide about a year after. What do you know? No, I don't know, but I'm listening. It's just after I met you. You know, after all that rape business was over and done with, and, you know, the fact that she was lying, you know, she obviously couldn't continue on with the force, so she moved away and no one heard from her again. And then a year to the day after she made the accusation, she rang the station and said she was going to kill herself. But why after all that time? I don't know why. I just... By the time I got to the... She was all dead. They were putting her in a body bag. Oh my God! Why didn't you tell me this before? I don't know. There didn't seem to be any point. You, you didn't know her and... Anyway, the point is, it couldn't have been her on the phone. Who the hell was it then? Look, just forget it. It's someone trying to be funny. I'm not laughing, Ray. No, I know you're not. Is there anything else you're not telling me? This came through the door yesterday. There's no stamp on it, so it's pushed through. Call Jess. Look, it's just someone's idea of a sick joke. <laughs> oh, oh, I enjoyed it. No. Oh, it's mum. Hey, man. No, I'm fine. Why? What's wrong? No, Mum, you're freaking me out. Look, I'm all right, okay? I'm fine. Okay, okay, okay. We'll come straight home, all right? Look, just calm down. I'll be home soon. God. That was really weird. It was Mum. She wants to come right. straight away. Okay, come on. I'll call a cab or we'll grab a lift off one of the guys. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, see you soon. Take care. Thank you. Catch up soon, yeah? Yeah, take care. See you later. Come on. I'll call a cab. Sorry to bother you, but I've heard you two saying you need to get home or something. Mm. You seem a little bit stressed out. I thought I'd see if you want a lift. No, you're all right, thanks, mate. Sorry, love. Just trying to help. Which way are you going? Wherever you two are going, I suppose. Come on, Jess. That's really kind of you, thanks. She's having some problems at home.
Oh, you didn't say you were a cabbie. It's OK. There's no charge. I'm off duty. Right. Where to? Do you know Kingsway? Yeah. I think so. Just point me in the right direction. We're good to go. We should call the police. Tell them what exactly? Tell them what's going on. Oh, okay. Well, we'll call them and tell them that our daughter's gone out to lunch with some friends, but now she's on her way back home because her mother's just called her up and scared the shit out of her. Be like if a traffic warden turns up to talk to us. We can't just sit here. Yes, we can. That's exactly what we'll do. We'll just sit here and wait until Jess walks through the door. How long have you been a cabbie? Not long. Thought they only had black cabs in London? They're everywhere nowadays. This is really kind of you, mate. We owe you a drink. No problem. Hey, this is the wrong way. This is what it love. It's a shortcut, I know. I thought you said you didn't know where it was. It's okay. This is the wrong way. Listen, if you just get back on the main road, I'll point you in the right direction. Yeah, come on, mate. Look, it's no problem. Just have to make a call on the way. Listen, dickhead, we haven't got time for this. Just stop the car and let us out now. You watch your mouth. Look, just stop and let us out. The Perry is shut up. I don't know who you are, but you come near me and I'll rip your fucking face off. Stop and open the fucking doors. Let us out now! Who the hell are you? What do you want? Oh my god, I knew it. You and your bright idea. This is my fault. I'm not the one who wanted to leave. I was having a good time at the pub until your bloody paranoid oh, mother rang. Oh, bring my mother into oh, this. No. Ladies. Ladies. It's all, uh, to court. Now then. That's better. Don't know if we're out now, do we? Get out of the car very slowly. Don't try and run off, because I'll shoot you. That's not a threat, it's a fucking promise. Right, ladies. I want you to follow me through that door. Please, just tell us what you want. What do I want? What I want is for you to do exactly as I tell you. Now fucking move. Get here, come on. Get in here. Don't hang about, get the fucking sock. Don't hang about, come on, get in. We've got to do something. Right, well, what do you suggest exactly? Anything, but we can't just sit here like a couple of spare parts while our daughter may be in danger. She's not in danger, for fuck's sake. She is. Look, I'm sorry. Sorry. Let's just both calm down, okay? Okay. What are you telling me? About what? What are you telling me about what happened with that woman? Oh, for fuck's sake. I had sex with a woman who got a touch of the seconds. It happened 20 years ago and now she's dead. Why do we keep going over the same old shit? Why did she kill herself then? I don't know why! When I got there, she was already dead. So who the hell was that on the phone then? I don't know who it was! If 
find you. I tell you what, when I find out. Hello, Ray Mason. Bingo. Got your first time. I wasn't sure if your good lady would answer. Now you don't know me, Mr. Mason, but as we speak, I'm looking at your lovely daughter. Oh my, she really is a credit to you. Who are you? What do you want? Who I am is no concern of yours. And what I want is for you to do exactly as I tell you, without question. Who the fuck are you if you hurt my daughter? You'll do fuck off! I will... And right now, you need to calm down and listen. I understand you're a high-flying copper. So you should realise I hold the upper hand. And that common sense should prevail. Okay. I'm all ears. Good. Now we can talk like civilised adults. You need to know that the lovely Jessica is just fine. And so is a mouthy fucking mate. And they will stay that way as long as you do as you're told. Do we understand each other? Yes. We understand each other. Go on. Good. I want you to drive across town to where you saw Donna for the last time. You remember where it is, don't you? Yes. Now you come now and you come alone. If you contact any of your old muckers in the force, or if your wife gets silly and pokes her nose in, your beautiful daughter will lose her looks. Why are you doing this? No questions. Just get in your car and drive. And at the risk of repeating myself. Do not do anything foolish. What that is? What we gotta do now? Just wait. No, you're not. Just sit here and wait. Don't do anything. Don't speak to anyone. Just sit and wait. Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back with Jess before you know it. Don't let anything happen to her, will you? Please. Nothing is going to happen to her. Very touch. You bastard. If you've done anything to her, my daughter. Uh, uh, uh. There's no need for you to get your knickers all up in a twist, Mr. Mason. Especially where guns were involved. Yeah. So, what I want you to do is walk over to that chair over there. Just a mouthful fucking mighty. And sit down. Yeah. Come on. Look. What the hell's all this sit about? Sit down. Look. What happened all those years ago with Donna? It's, it's no concern of mine. Shut up. Put your hands behind you. I 
That's what all this is about, isn't it? To be honest with you, I haven't got a clue what all this is about. I mean, I'm just doing a favour for a friend. What? Who? Who's paying you? No one's paying me. I told you. Doing a favour. If I'm not mistaken, my work here is done. What's that mean? Then I'm done. Off. What, you're just gonna leave us here? That's it! Knock me! But give me greater pleasure than to blow a couple's fucking brains out. What? Lucky for you, Sam. I'm in a good mood. And the last thing I want is for your daughter to see her father spat over the fucking walls now, is it? So. You okay? What the fuck do you mean am I okay? Do I look okay? What the hell is going on for Christ's sake? Oh, I wish I knew. And who the hell is Donna? What? You and that mad bastard were talking about some girl called Donna. Well, who is she? For Christ's sake, Abby, I'm trying to get my hands free before that psycho or whoever paid him comes back. I just want to know what the hell is going on. I've been kidnapped, tied up, had a gun pointed in my face, and now I find out this is all you're doing. I had some trouble with a girl years ago, Donna. Now we'll talk about it when we get out of here. It's okay, Jess. Everything's gonna be fine. Nothing to worry about. And this is all her doing? What? No, she's dead. Now, can you stop talking? See if you can get your hands free or something before that bastard comes back! You're right, I'm sorry. I think I can get my hands loose. Good girl. Keep an eye on that staircase as well. Oh! Everything's gonna be okay. I don't understand. What are you doing? Oh, I think you understand perfectly. It's me that needs answers. Hello, who's this? Hello, Mrs. Mason. 
Yeah, who's this? Oh, you don't know me. But I was with your husband and your lovely daughter earlier today. What do you want? Don't you hurt my Jessica? Calm down, Mrs. Mason. Listen to me. I'm going to help you. Sorry. Go on. I don't wish to sound callous, but I really don't care what happens to your husband. Once a copper, always a copper. And me and coppers don't get on. Your gorgeous little girl. Now that's different. I mean, she really is something special. Yeah. What do you want? Don't you hear my Jessica? What do you want? We've got money, I'll pay. As tempting as that offer sounds, Mrs. Mason, I'm afraid that events are no longer under my control. However. I'm begging you, please. However. Unusually for me, I'm actually experiencing a pang of conscience. And I don't think I could forgive myself if anything happened to love the Jessica. Sorry. What do you mean? Answers to what? Let's start with why you lied through your teeth after you raped my mother then felt the need to humiliate her to the point where she thought that her only way out was to kill herself. Put the gun down. Don't You're you way too dare fucking patronise me! Look, just, just put the gun down and we can talk about this. You don't know what you're doing. Oh, I know exactly what I'm doing. I've been planning this moment for as long as I can remember. It's the only thing that kept me going all those years that I spent growing up in care and foster homes. Wondering why my mother never wanted me. What's this got to do with me and Jess? I'm a clever high-flying policeman. You work it out. I was born nine months after you raped my mother. She didn't tell me. Why would she? What would you have done? I don't know. I, I probably would have... I... You wouldn't have done anything! All those years that I was growing up with nothing, while little sis here had everything that she wanted. Look, it's okay, Jess. It's okay. It's gonna be all right. Very touching. Now, I want to hear you admit what you did. And I want to hear you say it nice and loud so that little princess can hear what a scumbag for a father she's got. Listen, let's just put the gun down and let, let's talk about it. I want the truth. Tell me what happened now. Okay. Okay. I'm warning you. I want you to admit what happened. I want you to tell me everything that happened that night. I, I met your mother, Donna, a few times at the office. She worked in CID. She wasn't a copper, she was, she was an admin assistant. Keep talking. I didn't go out with her or anything. We, we, we just had a few laughs in the office. About all there is to tell Abby. I'm warning you! I want you to admit what happened. I want you to tell me everything that happened that night. We were working late. And we had a few drinks in the office. It was, it was like that back then. We used to drink in the office all the time. Oh, it's always that time of day. Oh, lovely. Hey, did you watch the match? How about that rush, eh? 
Have you seen the size of his nose? <laughs> it's phenomenal. I'll tell you what. Cheers. Cheers. Good help. I've seen this in a dark alley. Do you like something warm and wet? <laughs> You want my advice, or even if you don't, I wouldn't touch that with a fucking barge pole. Yeah, but you've got to admit, Gov, she's got form. And your brother, Donna, she wanted to go out afterwards, she wanted to go to a club. But she wanted to get changed first, so I said I'd meet her. Pulling me in and then pushing me away. She was really drunk. We both were. She wanted me to walk her home. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, careful. I'm not out here. I'm not out here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, baby. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Not till we get. Oh, yeah. Not till we get. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Good morning. I'll call you. 
Then she wouldn't let me in. She just winded me up again. And I don't know what happened. It must have been the drink, but... What the fuck? I was really angry. <laughs> I lost it. Get off me. Fuck off you piss. to rape her when she wouldn't let you fuck her. I didn't think she jumped. I thought she could tell. I didn't think she jumped. You were there when she died? The office out, out, out of the blue. Ray right, Mason. She says you ordered to kill us. What? Donna, just calm down. Where? Look, look, just cut. No, hey, no, don't. Donna, come on. Don't do anything silly. Look, we can just.
Donna, no, no. You come near me, I'll do it. Just, just come away from the edge. We can talk about this. You ruined my life! No, I didn't. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I can't. <laughs> Whoa, shit! Donna! Donna, please, just, just come away from the edge. All right, just come away from the edge. <laughs> it's not your fault. <laughs> no. It's your fault. <laughs> No. I'm nothing to you. No, that's not true. Please, let's just talk about this. <laughs> Give me a hand. No! No! There's nothing I can do! There's nothing I can do! I am so... so... sorry. No! She come down, but she didn't. You could have saved her. You could have held her and stopped her from jumping. You killed her. You fucking killed her. I, I, I didn't kill her. I didn't kill her. She jumped. She jumped. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. She just jumped. I am so. I am so. So. You're gonna remove the tape and you're not going to make a sound. Understand? Now, you and me are gonna take a little walk. Get up. you might be wondering where we might be going. I thought you might like to see the last place my mother saw before she jumped and killed herself and left me alone. Why are you doing this? I didn't even know you existed. Well, now you know all about your long lost sister.
Don't be trying to hide, Jess. I found you once, I'll find you again! I didn't expect to see you here today. To be honest, I didn't know I was coming myself until I woke up this morning. It all just seems so unreal, like it never even happened. Do you remember? Sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. No, it's okay, honestly. I wish I could remember. But it's like somebody's flicked a switch in my head and it's all gone black. Don't worry, darling. One day it'll all come flooding back when you least expect it. And then we might be able to make sense of it all. I hope so. I never did thank you again for letting me stay with you. It's the least I could do. After all you've been through, I couldn't leave you alone in the world, could I? Besides, Jess would have wanted it that way. I know you two didn't know each other for long, but she felt the world of you. I know. Poor Jess. She really was like a sister to me. You can stay as long as you like. The house is far too big for one person anyway.
poor Jess. Such a shame. Still, it seems as though everything worked out rather well in the end, didn't it? And at least you and your father are together. Now, I don't want you to worry about me living with my new mother. I seem to fit right in. Of course I've had to redecorate your bedroom, but all of our old friends just love what I've done with it. Ciao, sis. Enjoy how daddy. Hello, sweetheart. You and me need to have a little chat, don't you? What the hell are you doing here? Same as you, I suppose. I'm going to pay my respects to lovely Jess. Such a shame she died. So that wasn't part of the plan, was it? Still, got yourself a nice little setup now she's out of the way, ain't you? And you always could control people. Even when we were kids. All you gotta do is look at me, I'll jump through fucking hoops for you. Oh girl. Took that one place one time. Oh. By the way, found this. Lovely, isn't it? Imagine Jess had a really good taste. We like to have given it back to her. Would have liked that, you know? We know under more pleasant circumstances. Still, I'm sure we look almost just as good on you. There we go. Hey, hey, told ya. Looks great. Amazing. In fact, it's to die for. Thank you.